Okay, so bee juggling. So has anyone ever heard of the term bee juggling at all? Yeah. I see a couple of hands, cool. Um, so bee juggling is kind of like live remixing, except you're not using like a drum machine or something else. You're kind of using your own skill set to kind of do a live a recreation of a song uh, through kind of DJ techniques. A lot that uh, DJ Quest has introduced, like the baby scratch or whatnot. Um, so back when hip hop first started, there wasn't really any hip hop records, right? There was like people using like their parents' records that um, were like old soul records. So they were looking for anything in those records to use to kind of recreate and to elongate. Um, and these were called breaks. Um, let me just play you some JB, James Brown, just to introduce a little bit of like the music around back then. All right, so this is Cold Sweat, James Brown. Yeah. So by itself, it's a pretty dope song. But with some DJ skills behind it, playing with the break and everything, you can kind of do some nice things with it. So what I'll do, I'll, I'll recreate how DJs used to play the breaks over and over again through a technique called looping. That's just basic, like, looping 101. That's the first thing a DJ would learn if they want to get into beat juggling. And that's a foundational hip-hop skill. That's what DJs used to do back in the day, back in the South Bronx. Just looping little small sections that weren't really, like, eight bars long. They are probably, like, four to two bars long. And they would repeat those sections for B-Boys, for MCs, uh, just to get down on. Um, okay, so I'm going to do something more modern day. Well, I mean, I love that music too, all the JV, but let's, uh, let's, so I'll do some patterns real quick on some like modern like beat juggling stuff. So people that really like evolved the beat juggling, um, they started with, of course, like Kurt, uh, Flash, uh, Ground Wizard Theater, who invented the scratch, uh, but also evolved with people like uh, Jazzy Jeff, Cash Money, uh, DJ Aladdin, the Executioners, those are all people you can look up on YouTube. <laughs> so they had techniques that they demonstrated that kind of evolved the beat juggling along the way. So I'm just gonna do a couple of things that they kind of um, originated, and I'm just gonna kind of flip it into my own little thing here. I'm gonna use uh, Public Enemy, Welcome to the Terror Dome, and see what I can, see where it goes.
So, what I did, I don't know if you guys were paying attention, I was changing tempos, I was kind of recreating the song with the lyrics, but I was rearranging the music uh, manually with my hand, so, I don't know if you guys, did anyone notice the tempo change? Any, anybody able to follow that? Okay, cool. Yes. Oh, hey. Uh, <laughs> so, one last thing I want to introduce, and I'll talk about battles real quick, is the Aladdin Shuffle. It's just like the funnest thing you could do for me. So basically what it is, uh, what I like to quote a DJ Aladdin is when you dance with the record. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do tap downs, and then maybe if anyone wants to try after me, uh, we can do that. Is that cool? Yeah, yeah go for it, man. Okay. Floor is yours. <laughs> so basically I'm gonna slow it down with my hands. Uh, I kind of missed that right there, but so that's kind of like the showmanship. I guess the little segue into DJ battles. This is kind of like the the showmanship of DJ battles. You do things fast. You kind of do things fancy on the turntables. You make it nice. You dance on the turntables, um, and that kind of leads into DJ battles. And those type of skills you can compare two DJs against each other. So DJ battles are really big, like in uh, New York, Philadelphia, um, kind of everywhere back in the nice. say late '80s, uh, mid '80s. Well, as far as beat juggling, that, that <laughs> seemed to be more of an East Coast thing. Yeah. And we were big on scratching on the West Coast, but um, just battles in general. I mean, you have uh, the DMC, for example, the Disco Mixing Club, which has been around since 95, I believe. Uh, DJ Cheese was the first champion of that, and that thing is worldwide. It's huge. It's every year. There's uh, competitors from every country entering that thing, and you know these guys are training like savages, you know, they're training hard because uh, this is, it's a very competitive field. Yeah, right. And actually, um, come to think of it, I actually brought a routine that I used to use in DJ battles on vinyl. I could do it real quick, it's just a minute long if that's cool. Please. Okay, so this is a track uh, called uh, Rainforest by Paul Hardcastle. Um, it's like an 80s electro kind of funk song. The guy is from the U UK. Um, people used to pop a lock to it, I guess. I don't know. It's still okay. Alright, so this is a song. I'm just gonna find the grooves on here, and then we'll just go from, from there. But this is a routine I used to do in DJ battles. And you would get judged on this, and people would get flown out uh, to compete, they get prize money, and the whole goal of it is just to say that you're the best, but also to move the, the, the evolution of DJ skills. Now there's online battles, there's battles for mixing, um, I don't know, there's all types of battles, right? Yeah, well, you got uh, the Red Bull thing, uh, this. <laughs> I thought I did. I thought this was the record from like, I bought in 2001, but it's not, but it's cool. Woo! Anyways, that's Beat Jungling in like, in a little microcosm. There's a lot of, of it. If you ever look up Beat Jungling, make sure you look up Steve D, the Executioners, Shortcut, um, Swift Rock, P Tricks, and um, yeah, hashtag Beat Jungling. Thank you. You guys have no idea how complicated that was. Give it up for Mr. B. He's actually manipulating two records and the up fader, channel fader, as well as the cross fader at the same time, that's incredibly difficult. <laughs>